I'm Drew Luther, and I'm going to be reacting to SMO movie, The Rigged Game, um, which is basically about um, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Detroit Buffaloes. And I already saw that game with my dad, so Buffalo whooped um, the Buccaneers' ass. Without further ado, let's go. Going on. Jimmy, stop playing with a stupid shark. Don't have to. Stop it. If you don't have to, shark, ask you to do something. Stop it. Don't have to. Jeffy's so fucking annoying. Oh, why is there like a... Why is there like a little white line? I'm gonna break the damn thing. Hold on, there's someone at the door, Jeffy. Hello? Hey there! Oh. Tom Brady! Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm okay, Calm down. Yep, that's me. What are you doing here, Tom Brady? I'm pissed. Let me inside. O okay, come on in. Mm, Tom Brady mad. Tom Brady angry. Mm, mm. Why are you so mad, Tom Brady? Well, didn't you see? The Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Philadelphia Eagles in the playoffs. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, and they did it without me. The first year after I retire, they beat the team that went to the Super Bowl last year, and I couldn't even beat the goddamn Cowboys. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. The uh, the Dallas Cowboys did beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which was awesome. <laughs> uh, and if they beat the Detroit Lions tonight, they get to go to the NFC Championship game the first year after I stop playing. I'm sorry, it's the Detroit. I'm sorry, it's the Detroit Lions, not Detroit. But I was thinking of the other. I was, sorry, I was thinking of the other game that Dad's my dad's watching right now. He's not. He's going at the store right now. But, um, but we, we were watching another game after the Tampa Bay and Detroit Lions that uh, I, was, I was thinking about Buffalo versus the Kansas City Chiefs. I messed up. It's Detroit Lions. I apologize. I'm going to have to put that in the title card and correct myself in the editing. I apologize. Playing football, I'm gonna look like a bum. Yeah, you would look like a bum because if they made it that far without you, that means they never even needed you. Yes, exactly. That means you're old. Yeah. That means you're a scrub. O okay, I get it, but that. Look, he's not old, okay? Tom Brady is not fucking old. That's why I need you to sabotage the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What, sabotage the Buccaneers? How would I even do that? Well, normally I would do it because I'm really good at cheating. Like, normally I like to deflate the footballs or record the other team's practices or sleep with the other players' wives, but I don't want to get caught cheating again, so that's why you have to do it. Okay, but how would I even do that? I don't know. Find a friend. Figure it out. Well, what would I even get out of doing this for you? Well, if you do it for me, I'll give you one of my Super Bowl rings. Ooh, look at that. Shiny. That is. That was pretty awesome. I'd love to wear a ring like that, except I'm not. I'm not a Patriots fan. It's really shiny, but how much is it worth? Well, you could auction this off for like a million dollars. A million dollars? I just don't think I can do it. Get it done, goddammit! Okay, I'll try. Okay, now I'm mm -hmm. gonna go make out with my son on a yacht so I have an alibi. Now I'm mm -hmm. gonna go make out with my son on a yacht so I have an alibi. Go make out with my son on a yacht. Go make out with my son. What? I'm gonna go make out with my son on a yacht so I have an alibi. What the fuck? Did this dude just say? Now I'm gonna go make out with my son on a yacht so I have an alibi. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm gonna go make out with my son on a yacht so I have an alibi. What? What the fuck is this dude? Like Rob Reiner's dad? Because I there's a picture of Rob Reiner making out with his dad. What the fuck? That is fucking disgusting, sickening. What the fuck? So how are you going to do it, Daddy? I'm going to call a friend to help me. <sighs> hey, Marvin, you call me over to watch the playoffs? Go Buffalo Bills, am I right? Hey, did you know the named after that serial killer?
I see you, yeah, I see you, Jeffy, making that weird, stupid, fucking ugly, lay ass face. Fucking idiot. From Silence of the Lambs? I think they're named after the animal. Oh, but the Baltimore Ravens are named after- Why the hell would they be named after Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs? They're named after the animal. I can't, I can't, I now, now that I see Jeff, I know, I'm noticing Jeffy more often making that stupid ass face. I can't stop looking at it now, when I should be. Don't, he's a ghost. I don't see him. He's a fucking ghost. I don't see him. I don't see him. He can't see me. After that Edgar Allan Poe poem, why can't they be named after a serial killer? That's cooler. I don't know, and I don't- What's are named after that Edgar Allan Poe poem? Lambs? I think they're named after the animal. Oh, but the Baltimore Ravens are named after that Edgar Allan Poe poem. Why can't they be named after a serial killer? That's cooler. I don't know, and I don't care. I didn't- the Baltimore Ravens are named after a raven, a, a raven, an animal, dude. Sp uh, Brooklyn guy's logic. I'll call you over to watch the playoffs. Oh, well, what else is going on? Is there an NBA game on? No. Jeffy, stop making that fucking face. Tom Brady needs our help. Wait, THE Tom Brady? THE Tom Brady. He wants us to sabotage the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because they keep winning without him. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. It's almost like they never even needed him. Exactly. He said if they keep winning, he's gonna look like a bum. Yeah, he will. So what do we do? So he said we could record the Buccaneers' practice and send it to the Lions so the Lions know their plays. But the game's tonight. Mm -hmm. There's no more practices. Oh, well he said we could deflate the Buccaneers' footballs. But I think deflating the footballs actually helps the team win. Well, we don't know how to make them lose. Do you know how I'm sorry if I'm not paying attention to what the fuck Brooklyn guy and Marvin is saying, but I, I, it's harder to pay attention when fucking Jeffy's stupid ugly ass face with his fucking ugly ass unibrow is right there. I'm sorry. I really, I know I shouldn't be paying attention to him, but... How to make him lose? There's only one man I know that knows how to make a Florida team lose in the playoffs, and that's Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat. He knows how to lose? Oh, does he know how to lose? He loves losing. He's a pro at losing. See, he has the strategy where he makes coffee instead of making basketball shots, because the only shots he wants to make are- Wait, Jimmy Butler is a basketball player, not a football player. Shots of espresso. He likes coffee. Oh, he loves coffee. He loves coffee more than basketball. It's almost like he forgot he gets paid hundreds of millions of dollars to play a game, and instead he just wants to make coffee. He forgot that Starbucks exists, or Dunkin' Donuts, or McDonald's, or all of the other places that make coffee. See, he's trying to invent something that already exists. He's trying to invent the iPhone while he should be playing fucking basketball. Well, can we call him up? Oh, no, I don't want to bother him. He's busy making 60 fucking country music songs, Jimmy. What are you doing? Just play <laughs> basketball. That's all anybody wants you to do. Are you tired of basketball? Do you not want to play basketball anymore? That's okay. We would understand. Nikola Jokic says he doesn't want to play basketball. He just wants to play with his horses. But you know what he does? He wins basketball games before he plays with his horses. Why can't you win basketball games before making your fucking call me, Jimmy? <sighs> this man's out here doing... It's pretty funny seeing Brooklyn guy pissed off <laughs> over a fucking game. Oh, man. With all the 2K side quests. He's probably friends with Jake from State Farm, and he's probably going to start skateboarding next. So we can't call him? No, no, he's busy doing everything but basketball. Well, how can we stop the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from winning? Mm. Well, I have an idea. How about I sneak into their locker room and steal some of their equipment, and then we mess with it so that they play bad? How are we going to get into the Buccaneers locker room? Oh, I've worked everywhere at some point or another. I'm pretty sure I can get into anywhere. Well, go grab some stuff. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> all right, Marvin, I found some cool shit. Whoa, you did get some good stuff. Yeah, I get Mike oh. Evans' jersey, Baker Mayfield. Field's helmet and the ball they're going to use during the game. Are these important players? Are they important players? Marvin, Mike Evans is the most important receiver they have. If he can't catch balls, there's no way they're going to win. So how are we going to mess with him by taking his jersey? Well, I was thinking we could take this skunk I found outside and make him spray his ass juice all over the jersey. That way he'll be so stinky he can't focus on the game. Yeah, if his jersey smells bad, there's no way he can catch balls. Yes, let me get this thing to spray its juice. Ugh. Here, come on, give me a squirt. Go. Oh, God. Okay, let's give that a whiff. Oh god, that is disgusting. Yeah, there's no way he's gonna catch ball smell. What the fuck do you expect, dude? A fucking skunk just sprayed on that fucking jersey, dude. What do you think it's gonna smell like? 
Oh, like that. So what are we going to do to Baker Mayfield's helmet? Well, I was thinking we could put some lice in there so that he's scratching his head and he forgets the plays and he gets sacked. Yeah, there's no way he can focus on the game. His head's itchy. Yeah. Okay, so where are we going to get lice at? Hmm, hold on. Let me go find a dirty kindergartner who doesn't bathe. All right, Marvin, I found a kid that says he has lice. I got little bugs in my hair. Okay, kid, shake your head off into that <laughs> of helmet. Of course. Ah! Oh, Marvin, look at all that lice. His head's going to... That looks like Dan... More like dandruff. Oh, wow. Gonna be itchy as fuck. Yeah, that is a lot of lice. Okay, kid, you can scram. He's gonna be itching his head the whole game. He's gonna forget his plays. Yeah, exactly. And then Mike Evans not gonna be able to catch with his jersey smelling that bad. Ooh, I have an idea to make sure he definitely doesn't catch. I also got Mike Evans gloves he's gonna be wearing during the game, so I was thinking I could rub this Butterfingers on there to give him Butterfingers so he drops the ball. <laughs> okay. I think maybe you should rub actual butter on it because Butterfingers aren't that slippery. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're... Yeah. And also, fucking chocolate Butterfinger that has chocolate on the outside, like they're not gonna fucking notice that his fucking glo football gloves are not covered in chocolate. Probably right. Okay, I got this stick of butter too. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so slippery. Oh yeah, good luck catching a ball with that on your gloves. <laughs> yeah, there's no way he's gonna catch it with butter. Yeah. So we should do something to the actual ball just in case. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, Marvin, I got these magnets and I'm gonna put one of them inside the ball and then I'm gonna have somebody else in the stands with the other magnet so whenever they throw the ball, it gets pulled out of bounds like this. See? Oh, that would actually work. Yeah, mm. so I'm going to put this in the ball, and then I'm going to take all this stuff back to the Buccaneers locker room. Okay, go, 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 go. Marvin, Marvin, you're never going to believe what I found. What? Wait, is this lice? Yeah, that kid had a lot of lice on his head. Ew. Well, when I was returning oh. this stuff to the Buccaneers locker room, I saw that the Detroit Lions locker room was open, and I found their best player's jersey, Donovan Peoples-Jones. Donovan Peoples-Jones? Yeah, he should run for president, because he's not just any Jones, he's the Peoples-Jones. And that's even better than Osmosis Jones. Is Donovan Peoples-Jones good? Is he good? He's their best player. His touch Touchdown celebration goes crazy. It's here's the church, here's the steeple, look inside, here's the people's Jones. But I was thinking I could take this needle full of steroids and put it in the jersey so whenever he wears it, it stabs him and injects him with steroids and he's going to go crazy out there. He's going to get 400 yards and eight tutties in the first quarter. I mean, yeah, he's going to be suspended for the rest of his career, but we only need him to win this game. Okay, well, if he's oh, good, shit. why do you That's even have to do up. that? Well, I mean, he doesn't need it, but I mean, it couldn't hurt, right? So let me just put this in there and then I'll return this back to the locker room. Marvin, Marvin, when I was returning Donovan Peoples Jones's jersey, I saw the Buccaneers Gatorade cart and I took it. I took their Gatorade, Marvin, and I was thinking we could take this oh, laxative shit. and put it in their Gatorade. So they smell like shit, they have shit in their pants, they're definitely gonna play like shit. I mean, that is a really good idea, but I have a question. How are you going in and out of the Detroit Lions Stadium so easily? Marvin, it's Detroit. There is no security. Okay, but we live in Florida. How are you going to Florida and Detroit back and forth so fast? Well, Marvin, exactly. that's why it's a YouTube video. I don't know, I got like a teleportation device up my ass or something. Who cares? Just help me put the Miralax in the Gatorade. Okay. Marvin, Marvin, look. Look who I found. When I was returning the Miralax Gatorade to the Buccaneers locker room. Wait, what? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. I, I found this ref who's officiating the game, and I brought him back here to talk to him. Okay, so what do you need from me? Well, we were wondering if maybe you could rig the game to make sure the Buccaneers lose. How Is Broken Guy really that fucking stupid? Oh, my God. Broken Guy, you're, so, you're such a fucking idiot. Like, that dude's going to do that? What he's done is good enough. You don't need to fucking, you know, bring a fucking referee into this shit. Hell no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna compromise the integrity of the NFL. Oh, come on, man, it's just to help Tom Brady. Do you know how many times I helped him throughout his career? Do you have any idea how many flags I threw to help him win games? Well, can't you just do it one more time? Hell no, he's retired. And besides, a lot of people are betting a lot of money on this game. Oh my god, you're right. We should bet on this game. Marvin, how much are you getting for helping Tom Brady? Only a million dollars if the Buccaneers lose. Okay, we're gonna give you a million dollars if you help us rig the game. Well, shit, I guess I can try. No, 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 don't give him my million dollars. I only have a million dollars. Marvin, don't worry. If we bet on the Buccaneers to lose, you'll probably make like two million dollars. That's a million for him and a million... I already solved the game, so Marvin's gonna lose all of his co money. Uh, Brooklyn guy, you're such a fucking idiot. I, you know what? Shark told me before I started reacting to this, he said, oh, it, I said, oh, this looks like it's probably going to be funny because Brooklyn, I thought Brooklyn guys just going to be pissed off the whole time. And then Shark said, it kind of looks sucks to going to suck to me. And then he said, the ending sucks. I said, I'm still going to react to it because hell, if the ending sucks that bad, I'll probably go crazy and I'll probably get a reaction out of this and get me more views. 
and since um, I need to still react to it just to keep myself relevant enough, since I'm now 1.8k subscribers. Holy shit, you guys are amazing. Anyways, um, let's get to this. And for you! We shouldn't bet money that I don't even have yet. Don't worry about it, Marvin. I know the perfect casino for betting money you don't have. Come on. The frenzy has begun. It's time for us to paint the world in blood once more. It oh. smells like a nice big battle. You clowns make me laugh! It's thrill in my heart. This is... This is... We have very little time remaining. Awesome. I clicked skip, but okay. I just spit blood out from underneath his eyeballs. Cool. All right, let's get to this. I wish I had enough money to fucking my own money to for crunch roll and high dive. Welcome to the casino, fellas. Marvin, you're not allowed to gamble here. You don't have any money. Oh, he's about to have money because we're going to bet a million dollars that the Buccaneers are going to lose. Well, the Detroit Lions are favored by six and a half. So if you make a million dollar bet, that's only going to pay 300 grand. Shit. Well, Marvin, I guess we can't pay off that referee. Well, we didn't have a million dollars anyway. Wait, you guys were going to bet on a rigged game with money you don't have? We were trying to, yes. Well, how do you know the game's rigged? Because I rigged it. How? Don't worry about it, okay? Just trust me that the Buccaneers are going to have life. Why the fuck would you say it? If you're gonna rig a game, make it private. Don't let people know. That's probably how the fucking Tempin May Buccaneers are are gonna lose because Brooklyn guy fucking told him, and then the the um the Detroit Lions are like, oh shit, this game's rigged. Let's um fix it up. Let's fix it up and. Let's um get rid of this shit that's making us lose, and let's fix it, and let's win. Then we'll be able to win. That's probably how. Lice, they're gonna shit their pants, and they're gonna be stinky. Okay, well if the Buccaneers end up losing this game, then I'll give you guys five million dollars because I'm gonna bet all my money on it. Oh, they're definitely gonna lose. We can't guarantee that. We can guarantee it, Marvin. I pissed in their Gatorade. I thought you put Miralox in it. Now, Marvin, why do you think it was yellow? It was clear when I got it, and then I pissed into it. Oh. Okay, then I guess they're gonna lose, but we have to do something else to guarantee they're gonna lose. Don't worry, Marvin. I have a plan to make sure the Lions win. Listen, if the Buccaneers don't lose this game, I'm gonna cut off your ball sack, put them in a blender, and make a ball sack margarita. Okay, deal. Oh, no, don't, don't say deal. <sighs> Wait, where's Brooklyn guy at? Ugh, sorry about that, Marvin. I had to stop by the zoo and steal this lion. Yeah. Why did you steal a lion? Why? Don't worry, he's tranquilized. But why did you steal a lion? I got another genius idea, Marvin. Okay, guess what the Detroit Lions mascot is? A lion? How'd you know? Because of the Detroit Lions? Yes, exactly. Okay, exactly. so get this. I snuck into his enclosure dressed up like a Buccaneers player, and I stole all his food. And then when he tried to attack me, I tranquilized him with a tranquilizer dart. But I was staring him in the eyes the entire time. So when he wakes up, he's going to be really pissed at the Buccaneers. So I was thinking I could sneak onto the field and replace their mascot with him. So when he wakes up, he starts attacking Buccaneers players. What if he attacks Lions players? He's not going to attack all the Lions, Marvin. The Lions players don't look like Lions. Yeah, but they have Lions on their helmets. Look, he'll understand, okay? Don't worry about it. What, how are you going to get a Lion under the football field? It's Detroit, Marvin. Nobody cares. Come on, Gumball. Wait, his name is Gumball? Oh, yeah. Well, he's named Gumball because this one time this kid dropped a Gumball into his enclosure and tried to get it, and he ate the kid. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, it's kind of fucked up that they named him after a tragedy. Come on, Gumball. Okay, Marvin. I think we've what done everything humanly possible to fuck this game up for the Buccaneers. They're definitely gonna lose. So now let's just sit back and watch an absolute ass pounding. Hold on, let me go get my computer and I'll show you my favorite website. No, no, no I, I meant the football game, but, but later though. 
See, Marvin, I told you the Buccaneers were shitting their pants, and Bakey McFuckballs was scratching his head the whole game. He didn't know what was going on. I didn't see our lion, though. He must have gotten loose somewhere. But, I mean, hey, that's Detroit. That happens all the time, right? I can't believe you guys were actually right. So we get $5 million? No, I didn't make the bet because I didn't believe you. Not to mention you didn't even give me a million dollars to bet. That's fair. Wow, you guys actually did it. You made me look good. So I get a Super Bowl ring? Well, no, because I actually played a Super Bowl to get that ring. But I'll kiss you on the mouth, though. I'll take that. Hey, hey, no, I get the kiss. I'm the one who helped. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Exactly. Exactly. Who's your favorite football team? The Dallas Cowboys. Exactly. Goodman's reaction, that's exactly my fucking reaction. Okay. Um. That was the rigged game. Um. I didn't get the entire context of what was going on, so I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention during the whole video, which I fucking realized. Um, when, for whatever reason, I thought the Tampa Bay was going to, I thought they were trying to get Tampa Bay to win, but I'm like, no. Then I realized, no, Tom Bay wants the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to lose, because he's not there. I got I got screwed up. Um I don't know why I thought that. So I'm sorry if I got mixed up of what was going on. So Well uh Shark was actually kind of right. Like um I'm glad that things went smoothly except Marvin didn't get the money that he Wanted. Also. What kind of a fucking ending is <laughs> an ending is that? Oh, well. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, click the like button. If you love my content, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when I post videos or do a live stream. Um. You, um, sorry that I got a little bit mixed up with um what was going on in the video. So sorry I didn't, I was I didn't know what I was talking about. But anyways, bye. Hope hope you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.